So I was not around for the past few days is because I drove all the way to Sunway Pyramid which is 200 kilometers away from here. And the only reason I drove all the way over there is because there's an ACG event called Cosmic which I have never heard before since my 10 plus years of going to ACG events. And it just so happened that this new ACG event has invited four international guests from Japan uh, which are Burnout Syndrome who are, who's known for performing the theme songs for Haikyuu and um, Dr. Stone um, Sakata Shogo-san along with Issei and Maria-san who are the voice actors for Chainsaw Man and Igoma Yurei-san who voices Ruby in the popular anime Oshinoko I really wish I could attend a Burnout Syndrome's concert and the Chainsaw Man um, talk show. Unfortunately, both of these programs are on a Sunday and I had family matter on a Sunday. I tried convincing my parents but about it but they said, no, nope, you must get your butt right over here. So it's kind of unfortunate that I was unable to um, attend, or should I say, I, I, I had to miss out um, the Burnout Syndrome concert and the Chainsaw Man talk show. Luckily, there's a meet again session with um, Igoma Yurie san, which happens on a Saturday, but there's a catch. So, this is the uh, the Oshinoko meet and greet um, package. Um, so, for 259 ringgit, the package includes a vibrant Oshinoko flavor pack featuring uh, your favorite character, an adorable Roshi Plus, a um, radiant pen light, and a collectible Shikishi board to commemorate the event. So, here's the catch the package will be available only on Friday, 3rd November, at the Media Link booth, during the, which, which means it's a, which will only be available on day one of the event. This offer is exclusive to Cosmic 3-day ticket holders. In other words, if you purchase the ticket for only like, for example, you, you, you only have to purchase for only day one only or day two only or day three only or maybe you just buy the ticket for day one, eight, day two or day two or day three or maybe day one and day three only, you're not eligible. You are not eligible to get this package and it's limited to only 150 sets it is a first come first serve deal which means i have to be at the event on a friday morning purchase the three day ticket and then purchase the meet and greet package in order to have a meet and greet session with Iguma Uresan on a Saturday, uh, I believe it was a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, it was a Saturday afternoon. All the purchasing thing had to be done on the same day, which is on a Friday. I didn't want to miss that opportunity, and there's no guarantee that these voice actors will come over again sometime later in the future. So, what I did is on a Friday morning. I depart from home about 7 a.m. and by the time I reach Sunway Pyramid, it's already 9:30. So the first thing I did was I immediately went to the um, the convention center, and by the time I reach uh, I reach there, there was about um, 20 to 30-ish people queuing up at the entrance. But here's another catch that I didn't realize. Number one, there was no ticketing counter. Number two, those 20 to 30 -ish people gathered around there already had a wristband, something like, hold on a second. They already had a wristband, which is um, this. Yeah, they already had this wristband on on their hand by the, uh, by the time I already reached there. And I... And I was probably I was the only person that didn't have this at that moment of time. So 
I asked one of the staff where to purchase the tickets. And he said that the ticketing counter at that moment of time is located at Blue Atrium Lower Ground 2, which is four floors from where I am. And I was like, what the hell? So what I did is I really went all the way down to Lower Ground 2. The staff was willing to open the um, the blockade that leads to the that leads to the exit from the entrance, and then I and once again I went all the way down to LG. From there I went literally went all the way down to LG two, found the found the ticketing counter, bought the ticket, uh, bought the three day ticket, then went all the way back up to the venue. And by the time I already reached there, there was maybe there was already more people. Maybe like what a few, um, maybe at least about a hundred people, I guess. So I was kind of worried. I was kind of worried that I might not be able to get a chance to for the uh, the meet and greet session. And for some unknown reason, everyone over there, including myself. Uh, can only enter at 11 a.m. because according to the um, according to the application, the venue is open from 10 a.m. onwards. But for some unknown reason, we can only enter the venue f um, 11 a.m. onwards. So by the time we're allowed to enter the uh, the uh, the venue, the event uh, to be precise. There's security checkup just like um, every other ECG event because um, because of security reasons which I I would not bother mentioning about. But fortunately, I didn't bring any bag at the moment of time with me, so I just managed to bypass quite a few n a number of people. So I immediately went to the media link booth to purchase the meet and greet package. And by the time I was I reached there, I was shocked. I was genuinely shocked. Because there's only about three or four person queuing up at the booth. I'm not joking. Only three to four people queuing up at the booth. Because I was expecting a lot of people to queuing up at the booth causing the fact that buddy this this is a, a Japanese voice actress coming all, coming all the way in from Japan we're talking about but I was shocked that only a fair few people were queuing up for the meet and greet session and I was like what the hell but anyhow I managed to get the uh, the meet and greet uh, package which consists of uh, hold on just give a few just hold on just a few moment this is the uh, the, the bag which uh, the, this is the one of the bags that come in the, is provided from the package, and then the this is the um, the ruby blush. So this is the um, this is the ruby blush. You know what? I'll just I'll just move this paper back down the floor. So this is the um, the, the the ruby blush right over here, and then there's the. Uh, this right over here is the the pen light which is oh yeah this is the pen light which is part of the package and then the one last thing is the the shikishi board uh but according to the staff right we will receive the shikishi board on the meet uh, on the meet and greet session itself because that particular shikishi board will be signed by um Igoma Iresan herself. And the requirement to get the to enter the meet and greet session, which is this thing right over here. This this uh this ticket as you can which we got at the moment of time like the staff literally said we we just need this this piece of paper in order to let the the team know that ah you you are part of the uh, the meet and greet. you're here for the Iguma Diwesan's uh, meet and greet uh, session. 
So um, right after I got the um, the meat and meat package, I was roaming around the venue for about an hour or two. While I was roaming around at the venue, there was an um, opening ceremony happening at the stage in India, which um, I didn't really care to be very honest. So. I was kind of expecting uh, more people to come as time goes by, just like what happened uh, in um, Animangaki, which happened a few months ago, where it was on a Friday, right? And yet there was hundreds of people queuing up at the venue. And by the time I already entered there, even though it's not as as crowded as is norm how it normally is at Animangaki. There was still like well, about, about maybe a quarter to about half of the crowd that he normally has on a Friday itself. So I was expecting that that kind of number at the Cosmic event. But unfortunately, no. There's literally very few people at the venue. But then again, it's, it's a Friday and, uh, and then some people are working on a Friday, who knows. So, a few hours later, I just left the venue, found a hotel to stay for a night, and then I was doing some um, exploration in order to build some time before the uh, the meet exit session, which is on a Saturday. So, came Saturday, and I tried to be as brief as possible. Um, right after I had lunch at Taco Bell, uh, which is located inside um, Sunway Pyramid. I immediately went into the convention center, which is like about a few a few floors above from, from where Taco Bell is, and I was kind of um, roaming around the um, the artist alley booth and the uh, the exhibitor booth before heading over to the stage area because there's a stage show which is around at 2 p.m. as you can see right right over here, where Iromasan was on stage. And it's basically a um, a Q&A session, and of course they start things off with by having Igomasan saying Apakaba, which means um, how are you in Malay. And then um, right after the um, the Q&A session, um, she was doing live dubbing where they brought this something like a stand, and then there was they have something like a. a paper of some kind a book of a book of paper i believe where and then she, she was um, saying some of the some of the same lines as in the in some where some of the lines that she said in the in the uh, the oshinoko um tv series it's mostly one phases but the one that really caught my attention was where during that one scene where she introduced herself as uh, as her past um, reincarnation, her, her monologue, by the way, and that really sh that part really showcases her her what you, what you call it her her, her 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 voice acting. That really showcases her voice acting, and I was I was really impressed because it's really the exact same way as how I watch. Oshinoko and I'm just glad that I managed I managed to watch that stuff live in front of my own eyes. And then once the stage show is over, I took a short break by grabbing a drink at the tea light booth. While I was queuing up at the uh, the tea light booth, there was security escorting Igomasan from the uh, from the main hall or so actually the stage area all the way up to the the panel room which is one floor above and the distance from from, from between me and uh, the security uh, and Igomasan while they were passing through right is like just a few meters away like I, I, I'm not kidding you it's just, just a few kilometers away and I must say Igomasan is kinda cute I must say but having having that experience where the, the the security where they were escorting a celebrity or some kind and it happened right in front of my eyes it, it was surreal I must say it was surreal 
So, right after I had my drink at Tea Life, I immediately went to the panel room, which is um, one floor above, as because here's how the because the convention center right is is a two is a is a two floor layout where the the stage area, the stage area, and the the exhibitor booth are on the on the lower floor, while the artist alley booth and the panel room is um, is what is at the above the above floor. So I immediately went um, upstairs uh, to the panel room and I waited um, outside. Even though it's just um, it's one hour um, earlier because we don't waiting at the panel room and it just so but then something um, un something unexpected happened. The staff that was waiting right outside the panel room. They said that in order to enter into the panel room for the meet and greet session, a number pass is required. And in order to get the the number pass, they request us that were uh, to go over to Media Link and grab the the number pass. So all of all of us, including myself, that was waiting over at the panel room for the meet and greet session. We immediately went over to the media link booth and requested for the number pass. But from the perspective of the media link staff, right, they didn't receive any number pass or some sort. And so the media link uh, organizers, the, the staff to be precise, one of the staff decided to contact the the cost the cost one of the the cosmic um, staff from what I understand. And right, right after some, um, after clearing any um, so, so, some sort of misunderstanding, he the middling staff told us that uh, take this um, paper, take this paper, head over to the cosmic booth, which is just right out, which is quite, which is quite outside uh, of the um, right outside of the middling booth, which is uh, it's just a few meters away, and then. Ex, um, show it to the staff, the cosmic staff, in order to receive the number pass, which is this. This is the number pass. So, every one of us, every one of us, including myself, immediately went over to the cosmic um, booth as fast as possible. And fortunately, there were, fortunately, there were, there were still quite a lot of pass over there. So. We managed to grab over the 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 pass, and once we got once we got the pass, we just simply head back right up at the to the panel room uh, to wait for the meet and greet before the meet and greet session to begin. So about ten ish minutes before the meet and greet session started, we were requested to queue up according to the number pass that we received. And once we have taken our seats, we were brief of the do's and don'ts during the meet and green session. Um, long story short, um, no photos and recording or some kind, no handshake and no funny business. And then we were asked to write our names at the in alphabet at the back of the at the back of the this um, number panel over here so a few minutes um, later ego masan and some of the some few other people um, came in, came in and that was when the mid and session has uh, started here's how it works um, a group of 5 um, comes out and then each person will come in front of in front of the table in front of Igumasan and then from there we uh, the person will have a um, maybe a small conversation or some kind uh, and that's pretty much how um, uh, how the the meet and greet session works and I was supposed to be the third person because I was sitting at the very first row on the left hand side. So the here's how the panel room is. The panel room, each um, each side has like um, five 
five chairs on each side and I was sitting right at the uh, at the very front of the of the panel uh, the very the very first row I was sitting at the the middle so I was supposed to be the um, the third person while the person on the right on the right hand side of uh, where I'm sitting is supposed to be one one two three four and five respectively respectively but here's the thing the person in front of me which is person number two he went all the way back to the to the queue because he was too nervous and i was like what are you serious so and i ended up being the um the second person and it was my turn so I started things off by um, having by saying Konnichiwa to um, Ikuma-san. Then, then from there we, we started to have a small uh, little um, conversation. Even though I can't really speak Japanese, as a matter of fact, right, I had to rely on this damn freaking paper <laughs> to have a conversation. <laughs> so long story short, right, what um because the 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 conversation was ridiculously short probably because they want to get it done as um, fast as possible I want I kind of wanted to have the conversation with her as as long as possible but long story short right what I, what I could ask her is um, um, how's your stay in Malaysia so far in general this means um, kore made no Malaysia de no taize wa do deshita ka that was what I um, asked her and she said that um, so far she's been having um, from what I remember she's been having so much fun so far and she said something about the soya bean is not as sweet compared to the one in Japan from uh, what I understand and then once she um, she's done signing the the shikishi board this is what exactly I um, told her Tashi wa Oshinoko Nikki mo tanoshimi desu and she said um, thank you, and uh, and that's re- that's pretty much it. Uh, I didn't really had a ridiculously long conversation or something like that. But still, even though it was a short, brief moment, that moment without a shadow of a doubt is one of the best moments I have in my entire damn life. Here's how the shikishi board that she signed looks like. I hope you guys have a good look. Um, so yeah, so yeah, as you can see, the, the, the signature is right over here, and this is the, uh, the shikishi board. And I must say, among the fifty to seventy people that are in that panel room, about eighty percent of the people over there was talking to her in Japanese. I was mind blown. I was the jeep mind blown. But part of me was kind of glad to be very honest because I'm sure it's not just me but the others wants her to be as comfortable as possible so that the possibility of her coming to Malaysia again is there regardless of how slim the chance is. And shout out to both Cosmic and Media Link for bringing in this international artist from Japan and I hope that Cosmic will continue to improve from here on out because to me this is how um, an ACG event should be at the very least where organizers invite an international artist from Japan in order to attract more people to it to, to attend the event and that's pretty much um, all I have to say about Cosmic 2023